Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another live stream. We're playing around in the backyard today, checking out a new game called Grounded. Uh, which is kind of like this weird throwback to, like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. But uh, it's a survival-style game. Looks kind of fun. Uh, it comes out, or actually, it's out today. Uh, so you can get this on uh, on PC through Steam. It's also available just through the, uh, the Microsoft Store, I believe. Uh, and it is also on Xbox through the Xbox Game Pass. So I'm actually playing on my PC right now using the Xbox Play Anywhere feature. Uh, so I'll be using mouse and keyboard and stuff, but uh, it is the uh, the Xbox version that I'm actually playing right now. Uh, but welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. Uh, big thanks as always to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member and support the channel. Uh, but special thanks to all of our top tier channel members. Uh, Patricia, remember the accidental live stream Lund, Shadow Wolf, Jason Perry, Jarek, Snow Wolf, Drop Bod, Zerian Zelos, Vamp Sai Sai 6, Tim2020, Peter Bocabella, Sebastian Gours, The Scrub, Toolkit71, Matthias Z, Kayun, Nabs1, and Still Snow. Thank you as, all, as always very much for the support. It is very much appreciated. Uh, if you catch some squeaking noises in the background, I apologize. My dog is really active tonight. I don't know why. <laughs> Usually she's asleep by now, but she's got this tennis ball that she's just going to town on, and it's got a squeaker in it. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> um... So we're going to start a new game tonight. Uh, no, there was a a, uh, a demo or like a, an, an early like 30-minute sample of this you could play that had been out for a while. Um, I didn't get a chance to try that when it was out. I've been waiting for the uh, the full game to come out to play. Um, so we're going to jump in and play this. Now, there is a multiplayer option that's available in this right now. I'm just going to play solo for tonight. Uh, maybe we'll do multiplayer another time, maybe. I, I did see some other people were playing it and having uh, some challenges with the multiplayer, but we'll see what happens. Mode selector, medium, moderate stress level, manage thirst, hunger, health, and stamina while you fight to survive. Uh, there's also a woe level, which I'm assuming is hard. We're going to go with medium for now because I'm brand new to the game. Uh, we have to pick one of the four teens that they have available. I I'm leaning towards either Max or Pete, you know, because they're male. <laughs> Must kill squeaker, yes. Yes, the squeaker, no good. Um, I think I'm going to go with Max, hey, I guess. Nice to meet you. He looks cool. His name's Max. It's got the rock and high That's tops. It's very look, this looks very 80s too. It's kind of neat. Starter game out. So I haven't played this at all. I've seen a little bit of the gameplay of other people playing it, but I don't really know a ton about it um, in terms of like what to do in the game. I'm assuming this has a lot of similar mechanisms to, uh, to like a lot of other survival games in terms of like gathering resources, unlocking things to create, and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the aesthetic of it looks really cool, which I thought was kind of neat. <sighs> Look around, see what you can find, or so we're gonna have to Damn. probably a little bit of tutorial thing. It's kind of where am I? That's weird. It's really blurry when I move. Are those I hope that goes away. Roots? Nah, <laughs> can't be. Wait a minute. Now, this must be one of those those prank TV shows. I'm it's confused. I thought this was like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but it, prank show. it almost looks like we were in this little this little case here or something, and we escaped. Like someone's dropped us into the ground and we like we got out or something. That's super weird. I was all like, oh, this is Honey I Shrunk the Kids. I got this. But it's uh it's, it's a little bit different. It's a little blurry, I'm not liking that. Please don't die after two minutes of playing. Uh I make no guarantees. It, would, it, would it be better if I die after like 60 seconds of playing? Mass buddy. <laughs> starting to think this might not be a prank. Still gonna be famous though. <laughs> gonna need an agent, a publicist, a oh, sports car. Imagine what it looked like when that thing landed. Boom! <laughs> well, that's cool. That's quite a big baseball there. Yeah, so, I mean, everything that I've seen of this game looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun to play. Uh, I'm hoping it has some good depth. It is still in early access, so I'm expecting some bugs. <laughs> no pun intended. I know there's ants and spiders in the game, and, you know, mites and gnats and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there'll be some, uh, some game bugs here, too, I'm thinking. But that's okay. We have all, everything we can get. Sprigs, we got fibers. I don't know how much stuff I can carry, but we're gonna find out. I'm a pack rat in every survival game. There's no point changing it now. It almost looks like I can break those off. But maybe you have to mine those later. More fiber. Say so the first death will be from fall damage. Yeah, I'm thinking either fall damage or... Like, walking unexpectedly into a spider or something. It's probably where I'm going to lean towards my first death. Oh, you know, you never know. Maybe I'll just die of, like, hunger and thirst. <laughs> you can see there's water here. Um, yeah, it gives us the option to, to drink it, but I, I'm thinking stagnant pools of water. Probably not the best source of refreshment. 
If I had to guess. Need another moderator? Uh, only if it gets woolly in here, I guess. We'll see what happens. Someone will show up. Turn on the mod signal. <laughs> Okay, this is looking awesome so far. Yeah, I'm going to turn on... I'm seeing a little bit of screen tearing, so I'm just going to turn on my... Uh, uh, my V-Sync here, if I can. Let's click that on. Let's see if that improves that a little bit. That's a little better. Okay, I have motion blur turned off, but uh, I find oftentimes with games I've been getting a lot of tearing lately, so V-Sync helps clean that up for me. Okay, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff on me. What have I got here? We got um, plant fibers, we've got sprigs, we've got pebblets or pellets or whatever they are. Ooh, what's that? Sap. You discovered sap. View details. Ooh, I can make a torch. We can make fiber bandages out of that. Combustible sticky goo that oozes from roots and fallen branches. Well, I guess that makes sense, I guess. Plant fibers, we can. Ooh, pebblet spear. Yeah, show me how to make that thing. Uh, two sprigs, some fiber, and some pebblets. Can I craft this? Craft and equip. F. Puppet spear crafted and equipped it. Oh, sweet. Uh, I don't have enough to make the torch now, though. We'll have to be sure we keep an eye on that. Snacks. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How is a fiber bandage a snack? <laughs> I wonder if they mislabeled that. <laughs> Maybe that's supposed to be, like, first aid there. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't want to chew on a bandage. I'm fairly certain. Uh, we can make a roasting spit, uh, and then these are just the resources we found so far. That's kind of cool. I like how it has like the little indicator at the bottom that shows you what it's made, like, what it's used in, so you can quickly click into that particular item and make it. That's really neat. A dry grass hunk. Actually, can I make tools? What can I make? Just the torch of the spear, I guess. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> look at my fancy spear. What can I poke with it? Whoa, look at the size of that ant. He didn't attack me right away, so I'm not going to jam him back. not big enough to squish me. Little slurp. Tutorial. Find water. How do I key up the tutorial? Yeah. Hey, Shas, how's it going? Uh, so it looks like we need an axe to gather some of this stuff. So we can't we can't do that. But I'm gonna grab some of this sap if there's more of it here. Yeah, there's a little bit more here. Uh, apparently, I can walk through wood a little bit. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going or anything, but I'm sure we'll get where somewhere useful. Dandelion. Oh, cool. Huh. We got like the dandelion fuzz at the top. I hear buzzing. It's a speedy little green corn puff. Oh, jeez. Like that little red thing's itching for a fight. What is that, a tick? That's a lawn mite. I'm apparently not very good with my spear. That's right. Eat it, Lawn Might. He's mine. Can I eat, can I eat this little corn? Aphid. Oh, jeez. They're everywhere. Get out of here. Owned them. Man, I'm really glad I made that spear now. <laughs> Raw aphid meat. I hear more of them. I hear them scurrying. It's bothering me. Oh, my God. They're up in the grass or something. I guess it makes sense since they're, they're lawn mites. Leave that aphid alone. That's right, big bully. <laughs> it's a little creepy that they can just sort of jump down from above you. A little disturbed by that. Ooh, more ants. Man, I'm glad the ants aren't, aren't aggressive in this. Lawn mites, they're aggressive. Ants, not so much. Where are ladybugs when you need them? Yeah. What, to take care of the aphids and stuff? Or the mites? What do ladybugs eat? Is it the aphids or the mites they eat? Or is it both? So we have to find water. And I, I'm fairly certain we can get, like, droplets of water from the grass and stuff. Maybe there's a pond somewhere we can find eventually. Oh, there's a sprig I need. Give me some of these. It's got a really weirdly high jump. Can the ants become pets? I don't know. I mean, uh, this just came out. The game just came out today, and I don't know a ton about it. I knew uh, by the looks of it that I wanted to play it, but I, uh, I'm not super knowledgeable about the, the mechanisms. Oh, there's like some kind of device thing over there. 
can't cut. Oh, there's clover. I can't cut that down. Stock up on peblets. It's all about the peblets and sprigs right now. Ooh, mushrooms. Now, you're not supposed to eat wild mushrooms you find just randomly around, especially the ones in your yard, but, uh, eh, whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can make with it. There's gotta be, like, some, like, clothing and stuff I can make with the fiber, too, I would think. Do you know if the map is RNG or prearranged? Uh, that I don't know. Uh, how do I even see the map? Oh, okay, well, here's the map. Um... I, I have a feeling it's all prearranged. I don't think it's random generated. It's nice that they have this. Can I point? Uh, can I put markers and stuff on here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Didn't even occur to me there was a map. Wow, now we have one. Yeah, hey, what is that thing? Maybe it's from the shrinking machine. You know the thing that made us tiny. Oh. Is that Nat drunk or something? It's yeah. coming right at me. It's coming right for us. Except he's not really. He's just kind of flying around. Now he is. <laughs> Eat it, Nat. Nat fuzz. Ooh, I can make a bow. That's a beetle of some kind. Can I throw the spear? Ooh, my God, I can. Hey, buddy. Clogs now. No, actually, that's blocking. I think. How do I throw? Oh. R is for throwing. All right. Push. Ooh, it targeted something. Uh, no, it's not targeting. Grounded for repairs and block the obstructed laser. Find what's weakening the laser. Okay, so we gotta go over to that laser and find out what's obstructing it. I mean, this must be the machine that can make us grow big again. Which I guess is why we gotta fix it. That's much. Ominent. <laughs> Ominent practical technology for all your shrinking needs. The spiders can be friendly, you just go give one a hug. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Spiders are, you know, historically very friendly. Um, to all species. Where'd that gnat go? Come back here, gnat. I could see with a controller this would be tricky, because you can't turn as quick. That's right, gnat. Where'd the body go? Oh my god, I stabbed him into oblivion. He's nothing but a puddle on the ground. Oh. Oh, it's putting me to water. Uh, how do I get the water? I see you. I can't reach it. Find and eat some food. Uh, find water. Drink a dew drop. Unblock the instructor late. Man, I got all kinds of stuff I gotta do. So, okay, I need to make a, an axe. Requires a chopping tool. How do I craft an axe? I can't yet. I can make bows and arrows. But I can't make an axe. That's so weird. Um, right. Oh, you know what? I should probably... What's my? Where's my food bar on here? Oh, okay. So it's telling me to get water, but... I'm getting really low, actually. <laughs> I'm going to wind up dying to the lack of water. Mushrooms. How do I eat these things? Consume. Mmm, -mm, food. Oh, that's so good. We're not really getting a lot of a lot of food off of it, but we're getting enough. So the mushrooms will do. We'll figure out how to cook other things later with that sp spit cooking thing. So we got that. How do I trigger that tutorial up there? Story mode isn't finished yet. It will stop shortly after the next part. Yeah, that's alright. It's still, like it's uh, like I said, this is early access still, so there's uh, things that are in progress. Oh, I can see there's a blade of grass blocking the one laser, and then that other laser is not working right. Uh, I need to figure out how to make an axe, though. Let's go see if we can find what's the deal is with this laser over here. Even though I need to get water. Hey oh. there, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, what's this? Where's our little marker taking us? Oh, another building. Uh, apparently there's fall damage in this game, so i got to be a little careful here. I don't know how far I can fall before I get hurt. Interact with the computer. That was weird. Well, 
Someone had to have set up all the sciencey stuff here. Yeah. But still, I'm not exactly sure where this is and what is going on. Throw a pebble at the droplets and they fall? Okay, that's right. good to know. Uh, analyze. I guess we can analyze these things. Oh, I got three charges. Oh, it's solar charges, so I guess we can only do so much. Oh, pebble axe. I can make one of those. So that'll come in handy. Um, I guess we should learn what else we can make with this sap. Uh, plant lamp, workbench, and sconce. So a little bit of nighttime light would be all right, I guess. Uh, and then let's see what else we can make this fiber, I guess. Cook food spoils extremely fast. Okay, that's good to know. I'm gonna be careful to cook too much stuff. Woven fiber. I guess I can make like rope and stuff, maybe. All right, next charge is in like thir well, it says 13.33 I'm assuming that's maybe like 13 hours and 33 minutes. I don't know. Cool. Oh. I'm gonna get experience or something. I have 20 party hats. Hit the green grass and knock the droplets down. Um, yeah, I didn't have something to hit it with. I guess, uh, unless I could just throw pebbles at it. But um, there's a water droplet up here. Let's see. If I go to one. And then R. Yeah. Boom! Nailed it. Slurp it. No women crying, but I got my pebble back, too. That was alright. I need I need a little more water, though. Uh, unblock the obstructed laser. So we're gonna have to chop that grass down to get that obstruction gone. Ooh, actually, let's see. Can I make that axe now? Pebblet axe. I need woven fiber for that. Woven fiber. I can make. Oh, I can double click it to make it. Oh, that's handy. Okay, great. Uh, hot craft ingredient. Neat. All right, pebble axe, craft that. That's cool. I'm glad I can just make it in here. I don't actually have to go and find the, the item and craft it from there. So that's good. Okay, we got a quick quick wheel menu thing. That's all right. This is adorable. You have to get Nate in on this. Nate was actually playing this earlier on, uh, on Twitch. I'm not sure if he's still playing it now, but he was playing with a couple people uh, earlier today. What is this thing? Is, it, is this like a container of vitamins? Ice caps. Cool breath mints. Sweet, I want some breath mints. Let me in. How do I open this thing? Give to me the glory of the body-sized breath mints. I'll never have stinky breath again. See if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, it worked. I didn't. Really, I didn't actually expect that would work. Um, let's chop the grass down, maybe. If I could chop this stuff down, maybe I can get it out of the way and get the lid open on this thing. Oh, there's like power swings in this too. If you just left click normally, you can do like faster slashes, or you can do power swing. Container of Tic Tacs. I mean, it's kind of like Tic Tacs, I guess. They're, they're breath mints, anyway. Yeah. That's right. Eat it, grass. Now I got dry grass. Got whatever these things are good for. Uh, unload. All right. Oh, the answer is stealing it. That's mine, man. <laughs> All right, maybe he wasn't stealing it. Maybe he just walked on it. Okay, can I get in this thing now? Boom. Ooh, I can. I can mine the mint. I need. I need a busting tool. I don't think. Oh, I can make a pebblet hammer. Hot craft that thing, and then we'll craft this. Pebblet hammer. Where did it go? I thought it would go in the hotbar at the bottom, but it's not. Um. Pebblet hammer, where are you? 
Those grass pieces are good for making your base. Yeah, I guess it'll be like building materials, right? So, uh, it's kind of like, like wood you would get from other games where you chop down trees or whatever. I'm sure I made... Uh, did I not just make the pebblet hammer? Where's my inventory? I did. How do I... Did I just drop it on here? All right. I guess there's only certain spots you can drop these things into. Oh, no. I can put it elsewhere. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does it stack it? I don't know. Let's break in. Apparently, this may not be the ticket because it's telling me I need something else. Darn it. I want this mint. Certain resources require higher tier tools to harvest. Explore the world and craft new things to discover higher tiers. Oh, I see. It's using t tier two. And I only have a tier one. I get it. I got it now. So where did my axe go? It's it's funny. The axe is still underneath there. Like it's stacks it kind of weird. Huh. All right. Uh, all right. We need to unblock the one laser. We can go chop that down. I should probably get that water droplet if I can find it too. I'm sure it was over here somewhere. Nope, there's one. <laughs> Under through. There we go. Give me that sweet, sweet water. Tastes good. It does taste good. Okay, so this one is being blocked by this blade of grass here. So if we chop this down, we can uncover that. Oh my god, you can build a grass house. Yeah, you can make like, uh, use the, the grass as like planks or whatever. Alright, so we got that one covered. Or uncovered, I guess. Okay, let's go see what the deal is with that other laser now. P1, P2, and then P3's intermittent. No, don't get dark yet. I can't afford to be dark yet. I haven't found enough stuff. Oh, recipe unlocked. Lean to. Oh, just like that, I can make a lean-to. I guess that'll be handy. Where's that laser? Oh! <laughs> These ants are gonna freak me out, man. Fortunately, they seem to be friendly, but, uh... I'm not a big fan of them, like, just popping up in front of me. This game's about tiny turtles. Do you watch Solar Opposites? Uh, can't say that I do. Put the hammer on four and it should work. Yeah, it's just like, it looks like four is intended for range stuff. Or maybe it's just suggesting where to put stuff in your inventory slots. It's just interesting that you can stack them together. I kind of wonder if you can put like one item on... Oh. Oh, they're chomping the wires. Wait, how are lawn mites doing damage to an electrical cable? Is that even a thing that can happen? Ew. Stabbed him. Come on, you. Ooh. Oh, I want to go up. Oh, I really want to go up now. <laughs> Wait, why did those other ones die to one hit? That's right. Ooh, more lawn mites. I got friends! I got lots of lawn mite parts. There we go. Slaying them. Eat it. Where'd he go? He jumps too much. Oh, wait. No. I don't like how many friends these guys have. There we go. Okay, we got him. Whew. And we all got minorly injured. I'm like half life. Um. Oh, mother might. Get out of there. Man, they're like all the way down into here. Uh, that's dark. <laughs> I'm not going in there. <laughs> I need to make a torch first. Can I go up the wire, though? I want to see if I, how high up I can climb. Okay, climbing upward is definitely possible. <laughs> I don't know if I should be climbing on this thing. That's a long way down, and I'm pretty sure there's fall damage in this game. And it doesn't look like I can get up any higher anyway. Okay, so we gotta go down in the cave there to take care of the mites that are in the cave, but I'm gonna need a torch. I hope it lets me put a torch in one hand and the spear in the other.
Otherwise, things could get a little wooly here. Okay, we need a torch. There we go. And then we'll make this. Bam. Okay, it's definitely one or another. Oh, no, I can have them both. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's go see what the deal is down here. Ooh, a rake. Can you use a leaf as a parachute? I think you can actually use the dandelion fluff as a as a like a parachute kind of thing. Once I get to the point where I have some, just owning these lawn mites. Funny, what the ones that aren't chewing on the wires are so much tougher. Ah! You know what I need to make is a bandage. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, there's my bandages in here. It's in snacks, all they know. Oh, I can make a canteen. Pouch made from grub hide that we use to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slurp. Uh, I don't have enough grub hide for that, but we can make this. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> he puts the torch away when he's crafting. That's not, that's no good. You can block attacks when you have a weapon equipped. Time it right for the perfect block, or to perform a perfect block. That's a little spoopy in here. Oh man, I thought I had it all taken care of, but they're still in here on the wire. Grounded for repairs. Investigate the mysterious machine further. Well, I just climbed all the way up there, and now I'm back down here. It looks like I can't get through here until maybe I can craft some stuff. I can pick these things, though. Slime mold stock. Okay. I got slime mold. Sounds wonderful. Quartzite. So I need my hammer for this. Uh, hold on. Inventory. Hammer. There we go. Careful, it might be dangerous in there. Oh, but I'm bump. <laughs> oh, these are a different kind of pebble. These are quartzite. Oh, I can make a repair tool now. I probably need to use that to repair the wire, I guess. I want to see what I can do with that slime mold stuff. Think of it more of it on the way through, I guess. Uh, that's not promising. What's burrowing in the ground? You can't jab it. More quartzite. As long as we're in here, we might as well get as much of it as we can, right? Yeah. Are they kind of glowy? Wonder if they work as a different light source. The uh, the slime mold? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell because they have my my torch on me, but. They might be. They do look almost glowy. What's this? Might Rider, you discovered discovered scab scheme, scheme, ska B scheme. What the? What is that? Map, quests, data. Oh, here we go. The SCABI is a cutting-edge biomonitoring scanner bracelet, similar in a uh, uh, system in a similar fashion, a uh, wrist factor, uh, with a familiar wrist form form factor. The device appears to also send and receive FM signals. Inspect it. Oh, I'm already wearing one of those, because it shows me uh, on the bottom my, the bottom left there. It's got my SCABI thing. So, did someone else die here? Did they drop it here or something? What's the deal with that? Quiet minds want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Torch is running down a tad. I can't tell if it like how long it lasts. Yeah. Try sword not to be late, but hey, I'm here. What's this game about? <laughs> hey, arena. Um, so it's a survival game, but we're in. We're like shrunken kids yeah. inside of a backyard or something. Yeah. I don't really know a ton about the story yeah. just yet. I do know that there is some giant machine thing that we're trying to fix. Uh, I don't know what it does, but I have a feeling it's supposed to be the maker bigger machiner. 
you know, one of those things. What's the purple bar at the bottom? Oh, the durability. Oh, okay, great. Yep. That makes sense. Okay, so I think it said I could make a repair tool, right? So, repair tool. I need woven fiber for that. Okay, and then we can go repair tool and craft this thing. Let's see. No, I'm actually I'm getting a little bit uh, a little bit of room here. Um, fortunately, I do need to eat anyway, so we can eat these. I'll get that out of the way. Mite fuzz, vibrant red hair is taken from a lawn mite. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I want. Give me them random mite hairs. Uh, that is not how you fix things, buddy. All right, apparently I can't repair that. I was wondering if I could fix the wire, but that does not seem to be the case. Yeah, I'm gonna need a new torch soon. Let's get out of this cave before it goes black. Although I suspect it's nighttime outside. Oop. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nighttime. Okay, let's make a new torch while we're in here. Uh, torch. Dry grass hunks. I don't have enough dry grass. Got everything else, but I don't, oh man, I don't have the dry grass. Um. I guess I could just chop some down. Oh, wait. Let's grab this. A little more sap will do. A little sap will do ya. This all looks like living grass, though. I don't know. I, don't, I think if I, if I chop it down and then hack the stalks out, I can get a little bit of dry grass at the bottom, maybe. Oh, this is dry grass. <laughs> Never mind. The torchlight. I couldn't tell the difference. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Could have asked for better. Come here, you. Okay, that'll let us make another torch. Torch times two. Oh, it does stack them up. That's interesting. Wait a minute. If I put multiple items on a stacked spot on my inventory, so if I take this hammer and put it where the axe is... If I hit three, it switches to the hammer. If I hit three again, it goes back to nothing. And then, no, shoot. <laughs> I was hoping it would, uh, it would let me switch back to the, uh, switch back to the axe there, but it doesn't appear to be the scenario. Yeah, it's just weird that when I take it off of there, it still, still leaves the, the hatchet behind. Okay. Can you beg the 245 people watching to like your stream? Only 42 of us liked. Yeah, if you guys are uh, watching the stream and you enjoy it and uh, you want to see more, then certainly feel free to click on that like button. It does help a little bit with the YouTube algorithm. What? It's very much appreciated. Oh. Oh, good. So it auto-switched to the second torch I had on my inventory. That was good. Um, build a tutorial lean-to. So we got to build a lean-to. we got to go over where this exclamation point thing is. I'm going to grab some of these things on the way. Keep a spear handy in case we run into any more of those evil little mites. These guys are evil. Oh, we got a solid signal on all three now. Okay, that's why it was telling me to go investigate the machine. Okay. Activate! Uh-oh. <laughs> I may have caused the problem. Very low in health. Oh, I am low in health. I should, uh... I meant to make the bandage earlier, and then I forgot. Oh, no, I did make it. Um, uh, we gotta use it, though. Consume. It didn't really give me a lot of health. Um, okay, we need to go... It's under snacks for some reason. Oh, I can make an eye patch. That's funny. I don't have enough sap to make any more bandages, so... This one had better help. Oh, it's already going up. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a delayed heal off the bandage. Oh man. 
Probably just wasted it. Investigate the explosion of the oak tree. The old oak tree. Uh, but we should probably try to build a lean-to shelter. How do I do that? Crafting, materials, tools, base building. There we go. Walls and doors. Utilities. There's our lean-to. Sleep to bypass the extra dangerous nighttime or set a respawn point to return to the event of death. I gotta find clover leaf, and there's some actually right here around this device. All kinds of it here, actually. So we can hack this down. That's right, give me them leaves. Been playing all day, so if you need any tips, ask me. Will do, but uh, for the most part, I'd like to fumble my way through the game a little bit. If I'm completely screwing up, then certainly point me in the right direction, but uh, I, I enjoy discovering stuff in the games. Makes it a little more interesting rather than having spoilers for people who've already played for like eight hours. <laughs> Man, there's lots of clover here. Where's a four leaf clover? Oh, I'm low on water too. I need to find a water droplet. I wonder if I can sleep and be fine. Okay, let's uh, let's try out this lean-to business. Construct one of these. Oh, I see. Uh, Q to rotate. And then I guess we just place it? Now what? I feel like I placed it, but... Oh, I gotta hold to build it. Okay, there we go. Boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> lean-to! Set respawn points. Let's do that first. Ah, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, and then I guess we'll go to sleep. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I don't have a pillow. What are you talking about? Uh, let's put this torch away. It's daytime now. All's well that ends well, I guess, or sleeps well, whatever. What else can I make in this thing? Uh, crafting. Lean to storage basket. Holds up to twenty stacks of items. It's not very secure. Trail marker. Transmits a trackable visual signal you can find your way back to a location. Oh, that'll be handy. Workbench. Crafting armors and weapons with advanced materials. That's decor. Simple base building so far. Just walls and doors. No floors, apparently. Sprig bow. I kind of want to make one of these, but... Thistle needles. Yeah, we're definitely not doing that. Slime mold torch. A torch... Like stock from a cluster of mold should be able to light your way for a short while. Oh, okay. So I guess the the slime mold does light up. Judging by the fact you can use it as a torch. <laughs> Eat a pillow when you're tired. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> water and food low now. Yeah, I need. Uh, there's some water up here. Hopefully, I can throw a rock that high. It's pretty high up there. Give me the power of the waters. <laughs> That would be a no. <laughs> Where's that stock? I want to cut that thing down. It's right here. Give me my water. Did it drop? Oh, it did drop. That was refreshing. All right. Didn't even need to hack the whole thing down. Let's try, put, let's try down with these dandelions and see what the deal is. Oh, sorry, buddy. I was just. Oh no! I killed the poor little aphid. Oh, right, we'll turn him into dinner later. Oh, good. It shows. It even shows here how much inventory you've taken up. Twenty-eight of thirty slots. That's helpful. Did I make the ant armor yet? No, I haven't. I haven't made uh, too much yet. We've only just. Uh, we passed the first night. It's still really early for me. Weed stems. This game must be Canadian. <laughs> inventory full. Uh. So we'll drop those. Okay, so here's those uh, dandelion tufts. Just picked up a glider. Open your inventory to equip it. Then push the glide button while in, well, in the air to open. No, inventory full. No, can't be full. I need the glide stems. Spoiled. Okay, that aphid meat went bad. Um, fresh wound. What's that? Probably shouldn't eat, but maybe has some other use. Maybe for like gardening or something, but how do I how do I drop this thing? Oh, there we go. Right click it. Uh, yeah, let's drop it. 
Take the glass. Oh, actually, I should take the mushrooms because I need the food. So let's uh, let's drop maybe this thing. There's only one there anyway. Okay. We got this. Sweet. This is still Horde Night on the seventh day. <laughs> Man, I hope not. If we have a if we got a horde of ants or something coming at us, I don't really want to deal with that. Aphid honeydew. A sweet secretion from aphids that restores a small amount of thirst. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's helpful. It sounds gross, but you know, I guess uh, we eat honey, so why not aphid honeydew? <laughs> as odd as that sounds. I know we're supposed to go to the oak tree, but I'm going to try and find that little building that let us research stuff. I also want to fly. I want to try this flying thing. Oh, you can run on the grass. That's awesome. Where was that little building here? Mysterious machine. Uh, the field station's over this way. Okay, so I'm... Now pointed right at it. There we go. Hey, Poe! Turtles! Hey, Layman, how you doing? No eating wild mushrooms. Here come the hallucinations. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't seem to have any negative effects in the game. We, we tried that out the experimental way. Oh, good. We've got three full chargers again. Uh, let's see. What can I make with this raw aphid meat? Maybe we can cook that up before it goes bad. Oh, nope. I can make aphid slippers out of it, though. <laughs> okay. I can, I can turn my meat into shoes. That just, uh... That is not what I was expecting. Oh, let's see, let's see what we can make with this quartzite. What happened to Durgan? Uh, she stopped uh, coming around quite some time ago now. It's been months, I want to say. Probably like six months. Oh, I can make a dew collector with this thing. That'll be handy. Um, Nat fuzz or might yeah, let's look at the might fuzz because I kind of got a lot of it. Might fuzz says armor glue or stuffed mite. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I gotta see what this stuffed mite is. <laughs> is that like a stuffed animal? Can I seriously make a stuffed animal? Crafting. Oh, base building. Oh, I got scaffolding and triangle scaffold now. Sturdy structure made from weed stems and logs. I guess that's for putting the walls and stuff on. Maybe. Got a windowed wall we can make. Do collector. Oh, spider silk. Strong ropes of spider webbing, durable and stringy. Weed stem, grass planks, uh, thistle needles, mite fuzz. So where's that stuffed mite I learned how to make? What is that? Oh, I can make a mite hat. <laughs> A fuzzy, stylish hat that increases stamina efficiency. Oh, I want that. And what about the aphid slippers? What can I make with these things? I need another aphid. A pair of slippers made from slippery aphid meat. Not very effective defensively, but makes you run like the dickens. <laughs> I, I want that. These are cool. Whether it's for an injury, strategy, or just plain fashion, this eye patch will do the job. Uh, doesn't it? Oh, I guess plus, one, plus two attack for some reason. Seems weird. You cover one eye and you can attack better, but whatever. Oh, there's the stuffed mite. Fuzzy and gross. <laughs> yes. Yes, it would be. Stuffed gnat. A stuffed recreation of a gnat. Perfect for... Perfect for booping. <laughs> okay. Apparently, taxidermy is a thing in this game. That's, uh... <laughs> that's different. New game! Yeah! Oh, oh, come back here. Oh, man, he's fast. I got that... I got the last one by accident. He just, like, walked in front of my spear, but... That's mine. Oh, my inventory. So I don't need the mite fuzz anyway. Where's that? Where'd that aphid go? Come here, buddy. I'm making you slippers. Come back here. There's got to be a trick to getting these guys. He just ran up the grass. <laughs> Cheater. Okay. Um, maybe I'll make a storage thing over by my little, over by my, my little encampment here, so I can store some of the stuff I'm carrying around. Because um, I can't. I just have too much right now. Um, 
So crafting, base building, what was that stuff? Utilities? Storage basket, there we go. <laughs> My inventory is so full, I can't even... I can't even make things, because I've, I've got no room. All right. Um, let's drop one of these, maybe. Just leave that there. Open five or times one. Where did the ones go? There's the one, two... I made three of them. Where'd the third one go? There it is. Okay. So we'll make our little storage basket here. I can go here. Perfect. Dynamite. Okay. I don't know what to do with this just yet. So we'll... How much? Uh, oh, take all... Deposit. No, I don't want to do one at a time. Come on. I took it all back. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta drag and drop it. I was hoping I could, like, quick click to do stuff with that, but uh, let's put the spoiled aphid meat in here, I guess. Um, I don't need all these. This repair tool, I don't know what to do with yet. Some of this stuff can stay behind. Glow torch thingies. All right, sweet. That'll do. A little less to carry, anyway. Oh, I should probably put a marker here. Uh, customize marker. Oh, cool. I'm getting hit by something. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. Now it'll show up at a distance. I can see the little marker there. Come here, you. I saw you poking me in the back. Big fat jerk. I gotta get a bow. <laughs> this uh, this whole like jabbing thing is for the. I think I landed on him. Come back here. Oh, I missed him, but I uh, I found some deep water. Apparently, we can swim in this game. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I found a thing. I don't even know what it is. Okay. So we got underwater in this game. How is he flying underwater? Neat. Okay. That was a dirty... I, I, I was swimming with my eyes open in that dirty mud puddle. That doesn't seem like a wise thing to do, but yeah, whatever. Cool. Okay, so we got to investigate the explosion of the oak tree... I thought it would mark it, but I guess it's just... I can, well, I can see the tree. I guess it's got to be it, right? Assuming it's this way. R Park, R Park? What's this now? Built your immunity with swimming in the muddy water. Oh, look at this! What is that? Puncho! It's a juice box! I don't know if there's any juice left in it. Oh, what is this? I have a feeling I don't want to slurp this thing. It looks dirty. But could it be from the juice box? I, I, I gotta know. What did that do? Oh, it's actually giving me food. Okay. It must have been from the juice box. Huh. Don't ignore gravity this time. Gravity schmavity. Hey, Cryptic, since I saw you last, I managed to light yourself on fire, so while I'm healing, I get to watch more of your streams. Oh my gosh, Alex. Uh, lighting yourself on fire is generally not advisable. <laughs> Hope you get better soon, though. That's, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe don't try that again next time. I gotta know. It's a weevil. <laughs> He's like, where'd he go? Surprised him. Raw weevil meat. Uh, we can make a stuffed weevil, which, again, kind of gross. I don't think I've ever seen a game like this where you can do taxidermy. It's not a puppy, it's a weevil. The ants are really more puppy-like. Okay, I want to equip this thing, just because I want to know how it works. 
I need to find something big I can jump off of. There's the laser. I guess that's the tree over there we gotta check out. Oh, it's on fire. There's like a purple fire going on over there. Poor Weevil. <laughs> the Weevil just wanna cause trouble for us later. You know the, lo the look of them. Skulking around in the forest. See, look, he's got buddies. I see you, Weevil. You're not fooling anyone. What's this? Aphid honeydew. Yes. Give me more of that. It saves me from searching for water. <laughs> this, is, this game is really cool. You could be your friends. <laughs> Let's go toward the purple fire. Eek! <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a reasonable thing to do. What's a little fire between friends? Oh, acorns. Can I harvest the acorns? Oh, I can. Um, let's see what they let's see what we get from the acorn. I'm assuming like acorn meat or something. Oh, I get acorn tops. There's the meat. I think I got a piece of the shell. Yeah, acorn shell and two bits. Oh, I can get the tops too. Okay. It was so big, I wasn't sure I could actually put the top in my inventory, but apparently you can. Miracles of modern science. Acorn top, view details. Mushroom garden. Oh, I can make a garden. Look at all the acorns over here. Let's go see if we can find what the deal is with this fire. Now, I wonder what the, uh... Oh my gosh, you can run on top of the leaves. That's so great. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I wonder what this, uh... What this little dandelion fluff thing, if it deploys automatically, or if I have to switch to that item in my equip bar. I want that, I want that aphid, but I'm gonna have to get arrows, I think, to get them. They're too fast. I better not find a spider. You watch your mouth. <laughs> Sap clump. Oh, roses. Man, it's a setting for a game. This is really cool. Welp flavor drink. I discovered a landmark. The old Welp flavor drink. Come back, Gary. Yes. Oh my god, he exploded. Where's... Oh, I got the meat. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Craft. Utilities. No. Where was the materials? Tools. Workbench. Oh, I gotta make them at a workbench. <laughs> Plus the quickness. <laughs> I still only have one aphid meat because the other one went bad. It took me so long getting that one. But I don't have a workbench, so we can't make it anyway. Ooh, ladybug. Got you, aphid. You're mine. Hold on, what's it gonna take to make this workbench? Um, uh, where do I make the workbench? There's the workbench. I need three leaves. I can make one right now and make these aphid slippers before it goes. They go bad on me. Let's get some leaves here, maybe. What happens if I chomp these? I have a feeling this isn't choppable. I gotta get grass. There's no grass on this side of the, this side of the tree. Drat. Those aphids are gonna go bad in my inventory. Poor animals, someone called PETA. <laughs> they're not even animals, they're insects. There is no PETA for insects. Uh... Dad looks like spider legs. Right there. Why do they hide it behind the leaf? I'm concerned.
Yeah, I hear it scurrying. I don't want to die. Oh! There's like a little room in here. Boom! Continue searching the oak lab. Okay. So, I was kind of under the impression that we maybe we got shrunk by accident or something when I saw the game, but... That does not appear to be the case. Clearly, there's just a, a miniaturized world in here. Uh, one that's not not been very well treated, apparently. It's a tarantula. I doubt it's a tarantula, but this place is getting pinker by the minute. Pinker. Man. <laughs> oh look, it's got that party hat thing on there. Can I go? In? I can't go in there. Can I break it? I can't break it. What was that noise? BTU01. Brutal transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Verbal, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Virgil. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuation to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Tapperty Dills. It's just a straight like transcript or something. Reprioritizing re grilling. So, oh, there's tutorials in here. Hot pouch, interact, coach, run, crouch, run. Hot pouch, dial. Gather items automatically populate matching hot pouch slots. Oh, I see. It can be quickly accessed via the hot pouch keys, hot pouch dial. I kind of wanted to see about the whole stacking thing, but I'll take a look. Oh, there's a crafting dial? Construction dial. Quick access menu provides shortcut to construction blueprints found on the craft screen. Let the blueprint. All right. Well, whatever. I don't want to do the tutorials. Tutorials are for people who want to know how to do things in games. I don't want to do that. <laughs> There's this really weird noise, and I don't know what it is. It's like some evil little scurry sounding thing. Oh, I can push random buttons. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wait, is this a puzzle? It is. Boom. I got them all red. Is that right? I'm guessing they gotta be green. I have no idea how this works. I got them all red. Wasn't that why wasn't that good enough? Boom! They're all green. Pull the switch. Uh, alert! Threat! Oh, what the heck are you? A taste. Get out of here. Eat spear. He's like some kind of like robot cop. Hey, you're a robot cop. Nobody likes you. It's gonna get even slower than I am. <laughs> Ow! I I was wrong. Awesome, I got to take him with me. Okay. We got the door unlocked, though. If it was even locked before, I don't know. Watching Fox do puzzles physically hurts. It's called bang on the buttons until the right thing happens. It's a proven scientific methodology. Proven by the fact I just did it. <laughs> Ominent data link. Ska B detected. Analyzing coordinates. This is super weird and not at all was what I was expecting for this game at all. <laughs> Ooh, I can go in here. Nine volt batteries. <laughs> That's too good. I got another collectible. Take that, vampire. Vampire? Spiders and stuff. 
Yeah. Bugs and spiders and stuff. That's where we're going with that. But that was cool. Percup <laughs> yeah. Percussive maintenance and hacking is brought to you by Cryptic Fox. Help, bur Burgle. We got you, Burgle. Was this the guy that was making all the noise? We'll get this taken care of. What am I getting? Oh, I gotta. Oh, I gotta hold it down. I get it. Oh, he's the burger flipping robot. <laughs> Come on, Burgle. <laughs> no trouble. Make me a burger. Burgle. I'm sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the Ominent researchers. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is all speculation because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. <laughs> I don't know who did it. I suppose you would know anything about that. It wasn't me. Oh, why would you? Okay, <laughs> moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever qu -qu -qu questions you might have. Quick, quick, quick questions. End of story, content. You found Burgle, and the story is just getting started. There's still much more to do and more of the mystery to uncover. Continue to explore, build bases, take on Burgle quests, and provide us feedback on how to make the experience better. We're making new content creatures and stories. Stay tuned. Okay, so that's it for the story content. What's the... What's the Grasslands Burgle chip for? Contains a research tech chip set. Inspect. It looks like a Nintendo cartridge. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it, I wonder? Maybe I can maybe I can research it at that other little research building. I really want to know what's making that noise. Can I go out of this thing? Oh, I can. It's broken. I can go into the tree. I don't know if I want to, though. It's spoopy down there. Why is there one blue button? All right, cool. More, more birthday hats, that's good for 500. I have no idea what those are good for. <laughs> this, I'm earning them, but I, I don't know what to do with them. Is it like experience that levels me up or something? What do we got here? BTU02. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for Ooh, one season module, salt or pepper. All solved with you Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Those are party points. <laughs> yeah, I'll go talk to him again. We'll give him that chip. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's research this stuff. Analyze. Acorn chest plate, acorn face mask, acorn leg plates, and storage chest. Those all sound like good options to have. Sap catcher and a smoothie station. Oh, baby, we're gonna make smoothies. Wait, what do we make them with? Pureed bugs of some kind? That seems maybe a little off. BDS Empire with a super chat. Thanks for two plus years of great content. It's my anniversary stream. Woo! Also, hooray for Burgle. <laughs> thanks, BDS Empire. And thanks for being a member for two years. That's crazy. Appreciate the support. That's amazing. Um, new recipe Spiky Sprig Trail Marker. Already known. All right, well, this one's un out of charge. I can go use the other one if we can go find it, maybe. Okay, Burgle. You want this uh, chip thing? Hello yeah. there. Hello there. Manager, Burgle. B -b 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 Burgle. B -b 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 Burgle. I have some questions for you. Do you have any work for me? I found a Burgle chip. Uh, I'll trade you some raw science. I gotta go. Processing speed increased. 0.0000000003%. Wow, that's great. That's not any faster. Is there anything else I can help <laughs> you with? So it looks like he's got a whole bunch of slots in his head. Maybe we, if we find enough of those chips, he can, like, 
get better at flipping burgers? <laughs> I don't know what else he's, I don't know what his deal is. Uh, I'll trade you if some you raw science. Raw science. I'd be happy to, to, to trade you for it. Bring me more of my lost research chips, and I'll be able to expand my menu of items. Ooh. Oh, I have, oh, I see. Those party hat things were giving me raw science. I have 980. Scab scanner. Update to the scab scanner module that allows it to detect nearby raw science. So that'd be handy. Multi-story bases, torch upgrades, fortified bases. All right. Got to find some more of that stuff. Bring on the raw science, baby. Can we work for me? Oh, this guy's like the quest giver in uh, Seven Days to Die. Hunter, Nat. Kill three Nats. Explorer, Spade Gulch. Uh, complete marker at Spade Gulch. Analyze Cloverleaf. Didn't I already do that? If I accept this, will it just automatically complete it because I've already done it? In progress. I thought I'd already analyzed the Cloverleaf, but maybe I didn't. You expanded Burgle Swap Shop. Grasslands, Chip Unlocks. Alright, that's cool. Uh, I saw some raw science down there. I wonder if I can get to it. <laughs> it really sounds evil in here. I probably shouldn't be leaving the, the safety of that science -y dome thing. Undoubtedly, this is a very not-so-wise decision to come out here, but I'm going to try it anyway. Flash, give me the light. Come on, I see that raw signs. I see you. Boom, nailed it. I wonder if the torch works underwater, because there's raw science down there too, but I don't know if I can get back up after. I think I can. Boom, nailed it. Oh boy, that was bad. I can't get up there. <laughs> oh no. Come on. No. All right. I may not have made a wise decision there. For the record, the torch does work underwater, though. <laughs> when was the last time you took a wise decision anyway? That's a... Alert. I'm thirsty. Uh, fortunately, I have these. I'll consume both of those. That'll give me a little bit, a little bit of drinky goodness. How am I gonna get out of here? I sort of, sort of shouldn't have gone in there. I think. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I'm really not feeling good about this at all. Why'd I go this way? Why'd I go this way? I don't like creepy games at all. <laughs> That's why I don't play horror games. Oh god! It's the giant. Oh! So the giants don't like me, but the regular ants do. That's good to know. Okay, I got that was alright. I got out of there alright. Phew. Okay. I'm not messing with a giant. <laughs> What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Well, we got the um, we got the raw science, so we can actually go in here and buy something from this guy now. It is nice to see a Burgle. I'm gonna trade raw science, buddy. So let's do the scab scanner, maybe, so we can find more raw science. Aphid honeydew is aphid poop. Just so you know. Well, I mean, in fairness, we eat honey, and that's not considered gross. So, eh. Always happy to see whatever. I have some what questions like for you. I have some science questions. I don't have any more questions. I have science As questions. Science manager, I am happy to answer your questions. What's this thing on my wrist and why did it bite me? Uh, uh, that is one of Dr. Tully's most ingenious inventions. The scanner for the bracelet, a.k.a. Scabby. A portable device which can monitor your vital signs by tapping directly into your bloodstream. Quite the elegant design, don't you agree? 
<laughs> That's right, Cryptic chooses to enter the boss room instead of properly observing his surroundings. That sounds like about right for me. As acting science manager, I am happy to answer you. Look like you still have what is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. Well, that's neat. Oh, I gotta put this torch away so I don't waste it. Since it's already almost done. I really want to know what those noises are. There's some, something really creepy down here. Just don't attack me on my way out. That would suck. So there's the raw science. I guess that's what that, that the whole container of it. Heh, <laughs> cool. Are you going down that path where the batteries are? Was there a path down there? I thought, uh... I thought it was all sealed off down here. Like, that's blocked in. And this right, is... Shadows. This, this part here only went like... Whoops. How do I crouch? Yeah, this, there's like nothing here. Yep, yeah, nothing. Just batteries. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I need to go and research that clover leaf, I guess. Fix the nerdy glasses. And they aren't bears. <laughs> Oops. Can I go in this area? No, that's all sealed. <laughs> well, I so... I made a minor boo-boo. We may have destroyed the secret lab. It wasn't my fault. And that looks like nighttime outside. <laughs> Tell me I can make a torch. Uh, let me see. Tools. Torch. Oh, oh beast! <laughs> Don't run! <laughs> Let's get the heck out of me. <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> I was expecting like an ant or something. Not so much a big spider in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally jump scared me too. Oh my lord. My wife's gonna be mad at me. I was pretty loud there a second ago. Uh, I don't have any woven fiber and I can't make any, so I can't even make another torch. Uh, but I did have this slime mold. I need I need one more plant fiber for that. I'm also, I'm also low on liquids. I need more to drink. Um, and I'm all out of aphid stuff. God. Oh, that scared the heck out of me, man. I gotta get past that thing, though. I need water. Clean up an aisle one. Well, if we, it's there's right there. Can I can I kill it from in here? Oh God! It's got in! Oh no! no. <laughs> I didn't think it could get through the door. <laughs> oh, this is going to the underwear fund. Well, thanks, Mr. McBald Spot. I'm definitely gonna need that. Oh God! Can I not throw my spear? Why is that door locked? There's a spider in here with me and I can't get out. I'm gonna die of thirst because I I can't, I can't get out. Oh God, that scared me. Okay, um, I'm gonna drink some of this nasty water down here, which is gonna inevitably gonna make me sick, but I feel like it's better than dying of thirst. Can I even drink it? Yeah. Oh, that's. Whoa. Tasty, wonderful stuff. Oh, look at my food level going down. But I have mushrooms, so if that goes away, I can still... It's dark in here. Take that, vampire. Yeah. You know, bugs and spiders and stuff. Okay, so there's a giant down here. Um, I wonder if he's easier to fight than the spider. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Threat engaged. I have a. F oh god. Oh god, no! Don't let. Don't make me fight them in the dark. Not in the dark. 
Run! Okay, this isn't going well right now. Kill a spider, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. With no armor or anything, and this just this horrible little spear that I'm still learning how to use well. Yeah, it seems reasonable. How long does this thing recharge? Oh my god, it's already recharged. <laughs> Analyze. I got a quest on it, you don't have to go anywhere. Clover Poncho, Clover Shin Guards, Clover Hood, Roof, Roof Corners, etc. Alright. Um, dry Grass. It's better, you can't see now when it kills you. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Log Pallet, Plank Pallet. I guess those are for like storing things. Let's try this slime mold here. Survey says, slime mold's gone. That didn't really get me a lot. How am I going to get past that spider? I mean, I guess I, I... Can I throw the spear? What happens if I throw the spear? Yeah. Alright, it is throwable. Can I make more of these things? Um, Nope. <laughs> we can turn to throwing rocks at it, I guess. i got seven pebblets we can throw. Seven pebblets is better than nothing, I guess. I'm not picky. Darn right you're not. Get some of that food back. All right, spider. Very carefully get past the spooter. If it's in the hallway, I'm gonna be in trouble though. Because it was here at the top of the door before. I'm hoping it wandered off. What is that in inventory spot number six? Oh, the acorn bits. Oh, is that edible? Edible morsels from an acorn. Okay, cool. Auto saving. <laughs> Good time to auto save. Okay. Run like heck. Get me out of here. Anti spider. Okay, it's really dark. I don't like it. It's too spoopy. It's very atmospheric, at least. I'll give it that. Okay. <sighs> we lived. Consume this. The spider didn't eat me. We're all good. Hey, hey, them. How you doing? What about bringing the spider to the giant? To the what? To the giant ant and try to get them to do like fight it out? I don't really want to count on the fact that they'll fight each other instead of fighting me. I. It's really dark here. I gotta find. I gotta find some fiber. Oh, hey, look at this. More juice box. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Like, one slurp of that, and you're, like, filled completely up. That's great. I need, uh... I need fiber. Is that it? Give me more fiber. Tell me I can make a torch now. Rat, how much does it take to make this stuff? <laughs> there we go. Now we can make a torch. Flash. Bam. I have light. It is good. Make a slime old one. I need to get like, uh... There's something else I need for that. The slime mold one uses... Oh, plant fiber. It's a, I did, oh, I didn't even need woven fiber. I could use regular plant fiber. Oh man. That was a waste. All right. Well, we got it now anyway. I'll, I'll use the torch I have for now. And clearly that one is the more economical one. The little slime mold thing. Pick up a bunch of this. I need to get back to my house. It's not much of a house, mind you, but... Back to my, my bed thing. That's a spider. I'm not going over there. I'm not going over there. Right, let's go over this way. 
No, the spider didn't eat me. We got past it. It it had kind of wandered off, so I ran back out, and we didn't we didn't see it again, and I didn't care to find it. <laughs> I found his friend though. There was another spider over there. That's a cool little tunnel. You know them plant fibers. Okay, um, so my shelter thing that I built was like way back here. Ice caps, mint container. It's funny, it doesn't actually mark my my campsite on here, but I know it's back here by this uh, this machine. So I guess that makes it relatively easy to find. It's going to be a little bit more, oops, in this direction. I'm going to go this way. How do I get home? Uh, by foot. I got to walk. Hopefully, I don't run into anything too evil on the way. Crime, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Looks like the, almost like the dew drops are falling at night off this, the uh, blades of grass more. Oh no, this is juice box stuff. Never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. Not going the right way here. I gotta go this way. It's a wolf spider that's hunting you. Well, there was a wolf spider that like came into the uh, came into the entrance of that tunnel that we were in. I'm not sure if that other spider was the same kind or not, but I really don't care to find out. Not yet. We gotta get some armor, and then we'll go, we'll go kill a spider. Oh, is it turning daytime already? I don't know if we have to sleep in this game. Like, whether it pays attention to how much rest you get or what. Uh, where's my tent thing? No, oh, rat. It wasn't trying to go in here. There it is. Found it. Use. Sleep. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm... I'm beat. Go toward the light. Go toward the light. Okay, let's uh, let's put the torch away, I guess. We don't need that. Wow, that was cool. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff we can make now. I'm kind of thinking we should try to find a spot to make more of a proper base. Labs, one of one. Oh, so, oh there's the lab up there. What was this we found? Welp flavor drink. I wonder if there's uh, areas that we can... So this looks like it might be the house. I wonder if we can actually get in there eventually. I kind of want to explore a little bit and see what we can find. But I also want to make a base that we can live in. Um, this is not really the best spot. I mean, it works for now, but... It's not like... We're not living in the lap of luxury over here or anything. Is it just me or is there a lot of litter in this yard? There is a little bit. They just don't take, they don't take care of their house around here. Kind of, I'd love to know what that noise is. Is it telling me there's science nearby? All right, let's uh, let's eat some of this acorn bit. I'm not picky. I'm not picky. That's a good start. I'm gonna hold on to the uh, oh, that's sap. I thought it was aphid stuff again. You can try putting the tent inside the machine. I don't think spiders can fit. Oh, they might not. That might be an idea. Have a night, Violet. Thanks for coming out. Oh yeah, we're getting closer to the house. <laughs> this is so cool. I, I want to see if we can actually go inside the house. I have a feeling we're stuck to the yard, but... Oh, another tunnel down here. Or is it a tunnel? Is 
Isn't that scab E telling me that uh, there's science here? Like, what is that? What's the deal with that thing? Oh, yeah, the sensor went down. Now it's getting stronger in here. Maybe it's up above. I can't get up there. Oh, threat engaged. Oh, mites. Yeah, your mite. Ah. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm in third person view. I don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> uh, hello? How'd I get, how'd I get in this view? <laughs> okay, the game has a third person view, though, if, uh, if you're interested in that. I'm, I'm apparently thirsty now. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to get out of it. I hit a button because I, in my panic. And I don't know how to do it now. <laughs> uh, it's tough being incompetent, let me tell you. Uh, options, keyboard. Should left, right, arm, jump, react, glide. Oh, gliding goes a shift, apparently. Camera toggle mode. There we go. Got it. It's the U button. Is that a giant... What is that? Is that like fruit or something? Oh, it's a hot dog. Oh, that is so nasty. Ooh, I could harvest the hot dog, though, if I had a higher higher level tool. Because then it would be nasty, but it would be also be mine. And we can harvest the apple also. <laughs> That's... <laughs> it's only half a hot dog. Oh, I'm on the hot dog! I'm the king of the hot dog, baby! Man, these people are really gross. They just like drop stuff everywhere in their yard. Who leaves in high well, it's not an entire hot dog, it's only half a hot dog, actually. Uh I need some water. I look for look for some dew drops in the grass. Show me them dew drops. Jeez, where'd all the water go? Yeah, I'll worry about the science after I find something to drink, because I think... Oh, there we go. I think not, uh... Not dying of thirst is going to be my priority. There we go. Come back here! No, don't roll away! Oh, my stone back, too. I have to say, I really like the game mechanics in this game. This is really neat. Okay, so... My science should be over here somewhere. Oh my god, look at all the mites. I'm gonna be careful because I don't really have stuff for healing. Actually, the sap will be useful for that. Two mites down. Three mites down. The spear is boss. Uh, it's damaged though. We're gonna need to make a new one soon. I wonder if I have to get on top of this log. Or inside the log, maybe. See, the signal's stronger over here. Where is it? <laughs> There's a mite attack in me here somewhere, I bet. Not that I can see it. What the heck is that science? It 
It's got to be where this... It's, the signs have something to do with this log, but I can't... I can't find it. What are the odds I can get on top of this thing? <laughs> Not from there. <laughs> I have the repair tool? Oh, uh, I left the repair tool back at the, uh... <gasps> There's a spider over there. I didn't even see it. Hey, Ant Buddy. How you doing? I wonder if I could feed him something. Where's, uh... Let's put this down here. Let's go to six. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay, I just... I eat it automatically when I hit the button. That's the thing that happens. Ah, I, I heard you, buddy. I'm gonna have to get another spear soon. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, we're just destroying the mites here, but, uh... I can't find my way to this science that I want. It's gotta be inside the log, I think. Let's see if there's maybe an opening at the end we can get in. Kill ants? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I wanna try to kill the ants. They seem so friendly, look. They don't attack, they're just curious. Apparently he does not like those though. <laughs> I'm gonna make a new spear. Uh, oh, actually, is there an option to repair the spear here? Repair. Oh, it takes quartzite to repair the spear, even though I didn't use quartzite in the first place. That's interesting. Pebblet spear craft. That's so weird that it would take a material that I don't even use. To fix the spear, but that's all right. We got it. Oh, and it nicely even stacks it too. Oh, hey, wait. This is what it was pointing me towards, I think. Aha! Personal log one. Dominant practical technologies, Doctor Wendell Tully, science. Mm. Dominant practical technologies, Doctor Wendell Tully, household liquids, gels, and aerosols division. That is where my PhD is going now. Kaminsky works here, and he's an idiot. <laughs> Kaminsky. Cut, I've been reduced to substituting at the local school. How many times can one person be expected to explain the difference between a vector and a scalar? If it has direction, then it's a scalar. I mean, a vector. Oh! I swear the ignorance around me is contagious. Does that normal teacher do anything? No wonder my inventions cannot be appreciated. Our society no longer understands science. I think this guy's a little stuck up. Not really a fan of his personal logs. So it seems like that, that scabby thing is detecting those little science buildings. Billy Hogs Hot Dogs. Mm -mm -mm. Two year anniversary for BDS Empire. Woot. That's huge. What if the ants ha uh, have hive mind? You kill an ant and then they all become aggressive. I mean, it's entirely possible. I'm not really inclined to find out. Look at all the mushrooms over here. I could eat some mushrooms. Uh, okay, let's... Um I need to get more water because I don't have enough of that. I'm going to make uh, some bandages because I'm hurt and dying because of silly things is maybe not the best way to go. That's under snacks, oddly enough. Craft that. Okay. But plenty of bandages now. Let's put the bandage down here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, good. Awesome. Um, we're right at the base of the house. I have a feeling we won't be able to leave the yard. We'll be kind of stuck in here. 
But I want to check along the edge of the house and see if there's anything cool here. Are those special mushrooms? <laughs> no, those aren't the magic kind of mushrooms. I don't want to be near the house anymore. I'm going to fight one of those spiders, but not until we get some armor. <laughs> Are there birds, cats, and other predators trying to eat you? Um... Well, there's the, the the lawn mites are attacking all the time. Uh, there are spiders, and they are big, and they scare me. Uh, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, they're they're definitely predator like. Barn red. What is this? Oh, it's a big can of paint. And there's something here. Oh, it gives it gives an idea of what the different things is you're you're finding. So it looks like there's raw science nearby, where before it was showing me that little structure that showed me the little research building was near. So somewhere here there's raw science nearby. Maybe it's even in the paint can. What the heck is that? Probably the more important question, is it is it dangerous? Okay, I actually moved away from the science. I wonder if I could harvest the paint. That would be a no. Probably would have given me a little harvest notification if I could anyway. Uh, do you need more acorns for armor? Uh, oh, I can't even walk on the handle. Um, I'm not sure. Probably. At the moment, I'm just sort of exploring to find out what's on the map. Uh, I know there's a whole bunch of acorns over by the tree, so that's easy enough. That, that thing looks like it could be aggressive. That beetle kind of looks like my <gasps> It's aggressive. Oh, what the? It's a stink bug or something. It's a bombardier beetle. Oh my god, it's big and it's mean and it's really hurting me. And I got all. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, I died. Max was boiled by a bombardier beetle. Ah, oh, I died. Respawn. Did I lose all my stuff, I wonder? Oh my god, I have nothing. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I left some stuff here and a respawn point. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, Kung Fu! Just own that gnat. All right, uh, I don't really have a lot in here, but let's take some of these. I can make a torch out of them. So keep that in my inventory. We'll keep this in my inventory in case we need that. I'm going to have to regather all my stuff. I wonder if I can go gather my supplies back. Oh, it, I can actually. It shows my backpack there. Let's go get that stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave these things behind then. These are not worth bringing with me if they're just going to take up space. Raw nap meat. i got to make a cookie thing so I can... Oh, hi. Uh, This is my house. Get out. Please. Unless you're my guard ants. If you're my guard ants, then you're welcome to stay. <laughs> Let's go get my stuff. Alright, note to self. Don't fight the bombardier beetle without uh <laughs> without armor. <laughs> that was uh that was that was not good. Need an axe to fight the bombardier beetle? I needed something, that was for sure. I definitely didn't have it. In case there was any doubt. Oh, I'm close by to that science. Where's the science at? No, I'm getting farther away now. I wonder if there's actually like some like up at the top of the blades of grass and stuff. Is there an axe to fight the beetle? Okay. Well, I mean. See if we can ride the ants. Mostly, I just want to get my stuff back. I'm not really interested in fighting him too much. I was exploring more than looking for a fight. But the trouble is going to be there's a whole pile of mites down here too. I don't have a weapon. Message popped up right before you died saying you needed uh, you needed a chomping attack. Oh, did it? Okay. Interesting. I mean, I I did find um like I did a little bit of damage to it with uh oh my god it's, can I take everything? Take all. Oh, run! It's just a mite chasing me. Boom. Eat it. Do 
stupid gnats or mites, whatever. Man, if we need mite fuzz, I'm gonna be this decked. I've got tons of it. Okay, so to, to make the bow, I had to find I have to find these little uh, these little like thorn kind of things somewhere. No. Nope. Stupid mites. Where's the science? Oh, jeez, I almost stabbed it. <laughs> That would have been bad. I don't need all the ants attacking me. Where the heck is this science at? It's hiding. I wonder if it's underground. Maybe it's underground. What's this about paying you much pay? I've been trying to join and not reading chat. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, uh, you're all alone? Yep, I'm definitely alone. <laughs> it's available on Steam and Early Access for like 30 bucks. Um, it's also in the Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can play that there. I'm actually playing... Uh, I have Xbox Game Pass, but uh, I'm, I'm playing on my PC using Xbox Play Anywhere, because this is one of those titles. So you can install... You, even if you just have it for the Xbox, you can install it on your PC play it that way. I really want to try this flying thing. I gotta get to a height where we can jump. It almost looks like I can get onto the front step, but I have a feeling it's too high. Oh, what the? Oh, it's all like they got like a pesticide going over here or something. Okay, we can't go over there. Where's that on the map? Oh, so it's a zone. Oh god! <laughs> run! Oh no! Just run! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I, I can't run. I can't run. Don't kill me. I don't want to have to come back for my stuff again. Oh god! Save me, Jeebus! <laughs> I figured out how to fly, by the way. Jump for it! Woo! This is super slow, but it's fun. Ugh. This is really reusable, too. That's funny. Wee! <laughs> okay. Uh, I should probably heal. These racks, number two on the hot bar. Are you kidding me? Like one hit and it almost killed me. I don't really, I don't want to tangle with that thing until I have armor. When I do, I'll try messing around with it with the axe. But uh, until then, no. <laughs> That's where I came out of when we started the game. Oh, right down there was where I came out of actually. I love that those things aren't single use too for the uh, the dandelion fluff. Is this hardest difficulty? I just have it on medium right now. While I kind of learn the game. Uh, is that a cockroach? Stink bug or something maybe? I wonder if it's aggressive. Wide low. Ugh. It's, a, it's a stink bug. Quack mines on the old boy. Yo, oh, don't be near that thing when it stinks. Ah, oh god, he does too much damage. Run. Okay, I really should stop messing with those things when I don't have armor. I'm just, I'm not very bright. <laughs> okay, don't mess with the stink bug. Got it. Whew. Uh, the wolf spider actually found us back at the uh, back at the base, but I don't I don't know if there's more than one kind of spider or whether they're just all wolf, wolf spiders. 
Lol requires a chopping tool. Well, was it saying it requires a chopping tool for the bug, or was that for the plants nearby? Because the grass stalks need a chopping tool to chop, and it was kind of around those, but... Yeah, so this area of the yard is all sprayed with pesticide. Oh, there's like a shed over there. A picnic table. I wonder what's under the picnic table. I bet you we can find food under there. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> I love this as a setting for a game. This is so neat. What's with that? Oh, there's thistle there. I think uh, thistle was what I wanted to get because I needed to get... Um... <laughs> Hang time. Woo! <laughs> uh, I think the thistles are what I needed to get to get stuff to make arrows. Something like a spiky I had to get. Yeah. Thistle plant. Choppy choppy, Mr. Thistle. How do you say this game is different or better than other survivor games? I, well, I mean, it has a lot of similar mechanics to your normal survival games. A lot of them kind of, they, they have the same sort of, same sort of activities to them. Like, find food and water, build shelter, build tools. I think it's just, like, the concept is novel in the sense that Oh, all I'm getting off this earth, uh, this one is. I thought I was actually chopping it down. Um, the the concept's really novel because it's in the yard. You got the giant insects and stuff, so that's kind of neat. Um, it's got some neat little research components to it to unlock things. I don't know. We only have only have so much playtime. I've only been playing for you know a little over an hour and a half or whatever. <laughs> this little while you work. It's fairly kid friendly. Yep. Uh, my my daughter's scared of bugs and stuff, so she probably would not like this game. But, uh, yeah, kind of cool. That's all the sprayed area. I don't want to go in there. I'm going to go see what the deal is over this picnic table. Oh, clay. Can I make a shovel? Acorn shovel. I can make one. Used to dig up grubs. Oh, that's probably those things that I was saw, like, digging through the ground. And I was like, what's the deal with those? Uh, acorn shovel. Craft. Okay, let's put the, um, the acorn shovel on the hotbar. Instead of the acorn meat. And then that's number six. Hold E to slurp. No, thank you. I just want the clay. That's the weirdest clit digging clay I've ever seen. There we go. <laughs> it's like sitting in a puddle of water. If I tap E too quickly, I'm worried I'm going to slurp the water. Okay. So we found clay. I don't know what to do with it yet, but I'm sure when we research it, it'll tell us some stuff. What's that? Ah, what's my uh, little buddy? I don't know what that thing was over there, but it didn't look so good. Hey, Barbara Lives, how you doing? Okay. Oh, actually, um, now that I have these uh, these thistle needles and a lot of them, I can make arrows. So I could make a bow and arrow. Maybe I'll get rid of some of this mite fuzz. No, oh, actually, hold on. Let me see what let me see what this stuff takes here first. The sprig bow. I need uh, I need sprigs, which I apparently don't have. I need another gnat fuzz. And then the arrows use the mite fuzz. Okay, so that's what it's useful for. Maybe we'll make it when we get back to our base. Or well, our lean to. <laughs> I don't really have a base right now. Oh, okay, we're not going over there. Oh, plus I'm thirsty. And apparently hungry. Um, inventory. Consume. There we go. Alright, food we got. I gotta get some water. Denise, welcome to Duplegan. Thanks for clicking that join button, Denise. Appreciate the support. Welcome to Team Green. Uh, I'm gonna go... Can I put waypoints on here? Field station. I wish I could put, I wish I could put waypoints on the map, but it doesn't look like you can. Uh, so I'm gonna go this way. 
Keep an eye out for some uh, drops of water while I'm at it. Actually, yeah, forget it. It's getting dark. It's more raw science here somewhere. Oh, look, it's just like hanging out right here. Blam. Nailed it. Where's all the water droplets? Okay, uh, research clay. You can make acorn bread now, by the way, after the leaching process. <laughs> it seems like they don't require you to leach it in this game, because I just ate some of the, the acorn flesh directly. You can make an armor dummy and weapon wall mount out of the clay. This and needles will let me make... Spike trap. Ooh. Maybe we can spike trap a spider. That'd be cool. Which way am I going here now? I guess, uh, this way? Gotta find water. Where's all the water? I've kind of done a lot of exploring. I think maybe, uh... Maybe this next day here, we'll try to work on actual place we can set up that's like a little bit of a better camp. Because then we can put like a dew collector and stuff, so I don't have to worry about water and things. <laughs> Assuming I can find my camp again. Oh, it's right here. Oh, jeez, I walked right by it. I need to find... I need to find something to drink here. I wonder if... Yeah, you know what? Let's sleep until morning. I'll see if I... What happens if I sleep? I can't be the only one feeling tired. Time to hit the hay. Wow, that's interesting. I got less thirsty by being asleep. Huh. Didn't really expect that. Alright, well, now that it's daytime out, it's probably going to be a little bit easier to find. Oh! Ladybug going to town. It's fighting the ants. I don't want any trouble, ant. No, you're cool, buddy. I just want to see what's going on. Oh, no, you know what? The ladybug ate an aphid. That's probably what it was. That's cool. Dessador, welcome to Duplegind. Thanks, Dessador. Appreciate you clicking on the join button. Welcome to Team Green. And thank you for the support. I need to find water. Water, water. Oh, you know what? We can go to the juice box. That'll uh, that'll get us like full on food and drink. This thing's the best. Oh, well, it didn't give me full on food, but it got me a little bit of food at least. <laughs> That's cool. Go to a juice box. Yeah, we got that. I uh, should probably build a dew collector at each landmark so you can always find some. That is probably a good idea. That is, that's a very good idea. For now, I'm going to try and find a place we can actually set up like a base and call home. I don't really, I don't know, just like a, like a flat area would work, but there's not really too many around here. It's all grassy in this neighborhood. Oh, I didn't mean to come over here. All right, fine. Nailed him. I want to spear this thing. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> All right, throwing the spear does more damage. That's cool. Okay, where am I? Um, where's a good place to build? Please tell me you can build a house on top of a mushroom or at least on top of a tree. I don't know if you can. We haven't started building yet, so I'm not really sure where we could build stuff. 
I know you can climb on the mushrooms. You can even climb up like blades of grass if you can get one that's on the right angle. <laughs> can I make a mushroom top house? Let's in inquiring minds want to know. Wait a minute. Where was the um? So V was for this wheel, but there was the hot pouch. But there was supposed to be a button for quick crafting for building too. I thought. All right, base building. I don't have floors yet. Clay foundation. I can make a solid level foundation upon which to build. Ha! <laughs> you can build on top of the mushroom. <laughs> Alright, so that answers that. You can build on the mushroom, it looks like. I could have a mushroom top base. I'm going to do that, I think. I need more clay, though. Okay, so that's going to be... Uh, oh, my God. This is going to be the start of, start of our base here. Boom. I gotta I gotta get more clay though. And probably a way to get up here. I hope I can build a ladder or something. <laughs> I can make an armored mushroom base. That's really cool. Okay, I gotta find clay. I only found that one piece of clay so far, which is really weird. Kind of like the tower yesterday. What's that now? You can build a clay ramp. Oh, yeah, we can do that, too. That, that might work. I'd rather build a ladder if we could, because that would be cheaper, but... Plus, i got to find a good source for clay. No, moving away from that science. Where are you, science? Come to me, science. What the heck is that? Oh, it's another juice box. It's like right here somewhere. Maybe it's... I wonder if it's on top of the juice box. No, it's not on the juice box. This scanner system is hard to follow. It's stronger, like... This way? Nope, it's getting weaker. It's gotta be up above me or something, I don't know. It's either up above or down below. I don't know. Can't find it. All right, let's just try to find clay, I guess. I mean, I'm looking up, but it's uh, yeah, it's all grassy. It's really hard to see everything up there. You know what? A mark where you get built your base, so you don't get. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I really should do that. Well, I made it by over here by this uh, tropical puncho. Yeah, so it's by this juice box over here, this this Tropicop Puncho. There's no up, only forward. What do you got if you just dig? Oh, that's a good question. That'd be really funny if it was just clay, but Apparently nothing. So when I found the clay before, it was like it was like a lump that I found. And had to break it down with the shovel and then pick up the pieces. So I'm expecting... I'm expecting it's that kind of a thing all the time, but... Oh, there's another, uh... There's a science -y machine over here somewhere. That's a little spider webby. I'm not going in there. Get that, game. Oh, 
Oh god. It goes without saying, but that is a big spike. Oh, I hit it. That was an orb weaver. <laughs> I threw away the spear that was really damaged and kept the one that was Oh my god, it sounds like it's really close behind me. Oh god. No, it's so much faster than I am. Oh! <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, note to self. You cannot outrun the spiders. Shoo, fly. What the heck is that thing carrying? Oh, okay, two deaths down. At least we're not that far away. Man, those things scare me. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Yeah. Orb weavers are lovely spiders, but they're super awful when you're walking along and accidentally bump into their beautiful webs. Yeah. Yeah, they're wonderful spiders. They're just great. I love them so much. They're the best. I love how it marks the distance in centimeters. <laughs> uh, take it all. Okay. Okay. It'd be nice if there was a, something on here that, like, helped you identify where different resources were. Looks like this might be water down here. I mean, that might be a good place to look for clay. My inventory's a little bit too full, though. Uh, let's go drop off some stuff in that storage box I already have. We'll go and see if we can find ourselves some clay. Preon Bad Gaming. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Welcome to the stream. It's nice that it remembers what was at each slot. Well, it's got like um quick hot like the hot slots on the on the toolbar at the bottom. They're actually predetermined. And then when you pick stuff up, it will put it back in the same spot, it seems. So yeah, that is kind of cool. Uh alright, so here's our little storage box. We can put um some stuff in here, I guess. I mean I don't I don't need all this. Until I make the bow. This stuff's largely useless. Nat fuzz. The spoiled meat I get. Oh, it doesn't stack. Alright. Uh, I guess I don't need all these clover leaves on me right now. I don't need all these. Grass I'm going to keep. Sap I'll keep. Dry grass, why not? I'll leave these behind too because I don't have use for them yet. Alright, so that, that'll give me a little bit more room anyway. If we find clay, at least we can carry it. Oh, actually, if I... Let's see, in the tools, I think there was like a thing I could use to carry water. Maybe it was in our meal prep? Oh, great. I gotta get spider stilk for the dew collector. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that. I really don't. <laughs> Those guys scare me. Um, utilities. There we go. Lean to, storage, storage chest, plank pallet, water container. Store up to six droplets of water. Oh. Stupid bug. Here. Sap catcher. Ant mandibles. Oh, I gotta kill ants to make that thing. I thought there was a little canteen thing I could make. I gotta make a workbench here eventually. Snacks. Oh, there it is. Canteen. I need uh, grub hides, which I haven't gotten yet. But now that I have a shovel thing, I can actually dig the grubs up if I'm in the place to get them. I need to go... Yeah, this is the right direction. Make one of those baskets? Yeah, I've only got one made right now. I'm gonna... I was kind of holding off because I, I wanted to build them where I was actually gonna make my base. Because if I make more of them now, it just means I have to transport more stuff over, but... Let's see if I can find some clay here first. Oh, what's in here? Is that a cave? That's not a cave. Just some nasty roots. I found that first bit of clay just by accident. Oh, I know I saw a spider over by that thing, whatever that is. Yep. 
Oh god. Oh god. No oh god. Okay, so we're not going over there. <laughs> Gotta find clay somewhere else. It is adorable, the splash of terrifying. Yeah, man, those spiders are scary, man. They freak me out. It looks great though. Like the uh, the art style is really nice. It's very vibrant. It's fun to play so far. I love the whole concept of being like shrunken in a backyard where normally mundane things are dangerous. Meals on Isn't there grubs in the wire tunnel? Yeah, there were actually. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Uh, let's go back this way. Let's go find that giant camera thing. Yeah, if we go to that camera there. The base of it, there was a tunnel, uh, and I did see some grubs digging around in there, so we might find some. Yeah, aphid poop. Might even find some grubs in here. Aha, there's the grubs. Uh, six. Come here, grubby grub. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, what do I do with it? Okay, apparently I stab it. Okay, good. Oh, I got grub goop, grub hide. Where'd the other grub go? It popped out and I wasn't sure it was gonna attack, but I guess they don't. Hey, buddy, how you doing? You, uh, you want something? Oh, never mind. I can make a grub vest. <laughs> Just what I wanted today, to wear something that comes from a grub. kind of crude shadow take that somewhere else please where are you off to Ant? you're buzzing I thought maybe this log here was hollow before when I was looking for that little research base but oh, geez. apparently not Okay, if I go over here, I can research that grub stuff I found. Somewhere along here is that little research station. There it is. Oh, jeez. Oh boy, there's a few of them. Oh, two for one. Eat it, mites. Oh my god, they're still out. Come on. What's it gonna take, buddy? Is that it? Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Now you see how you're done. Okay, uh, grub hide. Analyze that puppy. Early access, plan to release in 2021. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what more, like what they're planning to develop further in this. Uh, we've already done what there is of the storyline of the game, but there's supposed to be more. I can make grub goggles. Grub goop. <laughs> oh my God, you can make a smoothie with the grub goop. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Nasty, but interesting, I guess. Okay. All right, so this is the log. This must be the rake here that goes up under that. Uh, that's the paint can down there. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the camera over there. Let's go. Let's go check out near the camera. See if we can find some more grubs. Because we need to get. Uh, I think we need more grub hides to make that canteen thing. It might have. Oh, well, maybe it was only two. I'll check it. Might have been only two. Uh, canteen. Oh, no, it's three. Yeah, so I need another one. You got a, a bad case of the grub goggles. <laughs> I want to see what that is. 
Um, base building utilities? No. Spike trap. Take that. Spiky board that damages any creature that touches it. Perfect for protecting a base from intruders. Oh, that's handy. Um... Oh, here we go. Um, if it slippers, grub goggles. Stylish goggles crafted, crafted from smooth grub hide strips. Increases maximum stamina with aerodynamics. <laughs> I don't see how, but all right. It increases your defense, too, which I guess is all right. Hoping they had saddles. Oh, so you can like, ride around on an ant or something? That'd be neat. I'd be all, I'd be all right for that. I can't believe it's so hard to find clay. I got, there must be a trick to where, like, where to look for the clay. I mean, I found it in a, in a puddle basically before, but down into the aphid tunnels we go. Take that, vampire! Yeah. You know, bugs and spiders and stuff. All right, grubs, where are you? There's one. Uh, six. Mm-mm, that's good stuff. Oh, science down here. Boom, 500. How did I not grab that before when I was down here? Okay, we're stocked up on grub. That's some good grub. Uh, let's see. That was in... There it is. Canteens and the snacks for some reason. Okay. Craft one of those. Okay. I'm going to put that now on my hot bar here. Instead of the bandages. So now when we find some water, we can just shovel it into the canteen maybe? I wish there was clay down here. There definitely is not, though. Can you cook and eat the meat before it goes bad? You can, yeah. I don't have a, I don't have a like a, a cooking spit set up. But yeah, when you kill the bugs, you get meat from them, and then. Uh, oh, apparently I'm hungry. Uh, let's consume that for liquid. He's, we can eat these for food. All right, we gotta find water. Hello, did you killed some some beetles. They were really tough. Uh, no, not yet. So I've killed mostly mites and stuff so far. Some grubs. Um, some gnats I've killed. I got killed by the bombardier beetle thingy. That was tough. That was not cool at all. I also got killed by a spider. That was fun. Like two hit me. We're gonna get some armor. We'll take those guys on. Uh, I'm trying to find stuff to make a base right now. So the f the floor pieces that we're we're using for the foundation, they apparently use uh, they apparently use clay. But I haven't been able to find a good source for clay yet. I feel like it should be like easy to find, but it's not proving to be. Plus, every path seems to come back to this thing. <laughs> Is that clay? Nope. Alright, so we can smack pebbles to make pebblets, but that's not helpful right now. This is my map guard. You'd have tons of clay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought it would be easy to find once we got it the one time, but um, it's not proving to be. I've also analyzed everything in there. Alert. Thirsty. I'm going to keep an eye out for water. 
Spider webs are going to be a pretty important thing to get, I think, but what's the deal with this? Oh, it's a weed. It's going to be important to get spider webs, but I'm worried about going over by the spider nest because the spiders are really fast and they're sort of mean. <laughs> oh, I, don't th I think I can throw that high. And then again, maybe I can. Got it. Come back here. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. I wonder how you put it in the uh, little canteen thing I got. Oh, it's a sleeping ladybug. <laughs> I missed the dew droplet, did I? They're so hard to see up in the in the the, the grass. I got one. See if I can find another one, maybe. In the worst case scenario, we can also go and find a. Uh, well, this is all dry grass here. Um, we can also go find like a juice box, and that'll that'll accomplish the same thing. Oh, what's up with this? It's like a like a dry cracked patch almost. Some of their signs nearby. Is that an ant mount right there? Oh, it is. Look at that. All right, shadows. Inquiring oh, minds want to know. I hope these guys don't get upset that I'm in their home. That would really suck. I have to watch out for giants in here, maybe. What are you? Quartzite. Okay. I have lots of quartzite right now, but... I don't want any trouble, Ant. It's fine. I'm friendly. I swear. Oh, God. They've got friends. So... Oh, those are big ants back there. <gasps> Look at the mandibles on those things. I, I'm not messing with those. <laughs> the little ants I'm fine with, but the big guys... Forget it. Not gonna do it. Can't in your hand and tap E, not hold E. Oh, okay. That's helpful. So if I can find I some more any trouble, Aunt. If I can find some more dew drops, that'll be uh, that'll be good. There's one. Yeah. Splamo. Okay, so if I go to seven and then tap E, is it? No, seven. There we go. Scoop. Ha ha! Nice. Hey there, buddy. How much does that hold? So, one droplet. Pouch paper grubite can be used to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer. Okay, so I can carry one more scoop in there. Um, but I also need more to drink because I'm not exactly well hydrated yet. Oh, there's another Bombardier Beetle over there. Oh. oh look, it's dark. Uh, and of course, I don't have any of the other kind of <laughs> stuff to make. Torches with. There we go. Am I alone in this world? Uh, I am. It, you can play multiplayer in the game, but I'm, pl I'm playing solo. Being an Xbox game, you can play with uh, up to f up to uh, three other people for a total of four. Oh, there's another dewdrop. Got 
Got you. That was refreshing. What the heck is these? Oh, they're nails. Oh my god, they're so big. <laughs> Didn't even recognize what they were at first. Oh! I don't know what it is, but I'm running. Oh god! Get away! Get away! Get away! <laughs> run! Run, 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 run! Oh god! Those spiders are brutal! Two hits! It just takes two hits. <laughs> Stupid orb weaver. All right, well, I'm back at camp. I guess I can sleep here, and then we'll go get my stuff in the morning. <sighs> sleep. Get the sprigs for your bow and arrows. Oh, that's a good idea. But first, I gotta go get my stuff. Stupid spiders. God, they scare me. And they're so fast. Yeah, I got turned into more spider poo. That's right. <laughs> At least I got it, like far enough away from where they spawn. Oh, there it is over there. Oh, it's at the base of another one of the little scanner things. All right. Okay, good. We got some stored up water, so I don't have to hunt for that so much. Uh, and then I'm gonna drink some when I can find some too, I guess. There's another one. Come back here. Tastes good. Tastes good. Well, I'm having no luck with the clay, so maybe I'll try to build. Can you actually can you build walls without the clay foundation? I wonder. Uh, solid wall, keep insects out, like, all buildings can be damaged by attacks. Alright, that's fine. Construct. Oh yeah, you can. So you don't actually have to have a foundation. Oh! She's... <laughs> stupid bug. <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. Uh, have you and Nate started 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 yet? Oh yeah, we've been playing it for a few weeks. Uh, we just played it, uh, what day is it today? Tuesday? We just played it last night, actually. Yeah, the stream recordings are on the channel for that. But yeah, we're on uh, day 22 or 23, I think, right now. 22, I think, is where we're starting. The foundation was for getting a flat surface to work with. Yeah, I just I thought it would be good to have like an actual foundation. Oh, there's clay right there. Oh my god. I ran all over the place looking for clay. There's some right here. Looks like the morning time is the time to get water. Yeah, it seems that way. Okay, so the clay does seem to be in puddles. Am I wearing nat cologne or something? No, you're nat. I think I need to kill one more of you. Oh, actually, uh, I think I have nat. Come back here. Hold still. Got him. <laughs> Splatted him everywhere. Oh my god, another one. Okay, I have uh, I have a little more clay. We can do more foundation stuff, I guess. It was over by that juice box that we were building, so it's up, up by this thing here. Which I am not facing the right way. There we go. No call it morning do for nothing? Yeah. Who knew? So the way I have this built... I might be able to jump on top. I hope I can. This might be iffy. I might I might wind up building this and then find out I can't even get on top of it. Missing ingredient. I need four clay again. Let's find out. Acquiring minds want to know. Okay, good. I can jump up there. I wonder how far off of the edge of this I can I can extend it. That'll be neat. 
you have to worry about infection? It doesn't seem that way. Uh, Hydroneer got a big update. You know, I played Hydroneer the one time, and then I got distracted and didn't get back to it. And that was a game I meant to play a bunch of. I really should play more. I, I have so much, uh, so much difficulty finding time to play everything I want to play. I don't want to slurp. Thank you very much. Break the game like let's game it out. <laughs> Has he broken the game already? I mean, it, it's uh, it's an alpha build, so I could see uh, I could see him finding ways to do that pretty quick. This is like the great clay hunt of 2020. <laughs> Something I thought would be easy is just not... Clover. I haven't chopped any of that down yet. Yeah. You're not hungry, you just think you are. Be quiet. Oh. Oh, what was Clover? Okay, I, never mind. I did chop that down before. It was the, uh, the flower that threw me off at the top of the clover. That's the streamer I'm thinking of. He figured out how to shoplift. Oh, from Hydraneer, you mean? Yeah. So, uh, let's game it out. I don't think he streams, but he, uh, he does, uh, recorded videos. He kind of breaks all the games that he plays. What are the odds we can find clay by the water on the other side? Oh, what have we got here? All right, shadows. What you got now? Okay, that was a pointless tunnel. We need more acorns, so I guess we can come up here too. Uh, let's get this. Requires a busting tool. Oh. Yeah, acorn meat. Where'd the shells go? There we go. Was that it? One piece of shell off that acorn? Yeah. And that type of concept, you like the spiffing Brit? Yeah, <laughs> he, he does a lot too. <laughs> this game is perfectly balanced with no flaws or whatever. What's, isn't, that his, isn't that his deal? Or with no exploits? Okay, uh, I'm hungry, so I should probably chat on some of this. Let's have a little drink of water. Slurp. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Pebble. Yeah, there's lots of acorns over here. Take that, vampire. And, you know, bugs and spiders and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, he loves, he loves to eat. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's actually he's in another Discord that I hang out in. I don't uh, I don't know him really well though. Okay. Lots of acorn meat, uh, a bunch of the shells and stuff. I'm gonna see if we can try to make some uh, some armor out of this. I think I might have to have the crafting bench to be able to make the armor though. So workbench gear, yeah. So chest plate takes three, leg plates take another two, so that's five. I've got seven now. Acorn face mask takes like one. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Spooky mask made from an acorn that supplies a bonus to maximum health. Oh, maximum health for that. Maximum health for that. That's handy. 
Okay, so I have enough to make all the acorn pieces. If I could just find an easy way to get clay now. <laughs> what I find funny is Yorkshire Tea is his sponsor. Oh, is it? That is funny then. Let's go put some... Uh, Put some of this fruit punch in our little canteen here. Some of that wonderful sugary goodness. Scoop. Can't mix different liquids. Oh. Uh, that slurp. Refreshing. Now we can take it. Canteen's full. Okay. Perfect. Gotta be careful because those spiders were over here, though, too. Mmm, fruit punch. You did a good job making the hits feel weighty when you smack acorns with another stuff. Yeah, they did, actually. I mean, so far, everything I've seen about the game, I rather like. I want to go in this water to see what's in there. But I want to make sure I have a way to get out because this is all a steep side up here. It would really suck to get in there and then not be able to get out. Here we go. Okay. What do we have under the water? <laughs> Almost guaranteed there's going to be a fish in here that's going to try to eat me. He's trying to eat me! Uh, can't... No, it's, it even has like a realistic breath meter in terms of like how long it lasts. You can't go underwater long. Uh, that's an orb weaver. I wonder if the orb weaver will go in the water. Probably koi fish. I was kind of expecting to see some, but I don't see anything swimming around in here, so it looks like maybe it's not a koi pond. I mean, it's decorated around the outside like a koi pond, but... Oh my gosh, look at that. There's... <laughs> there's... There's raw science just floating in the air above the water. How am I going to get that? I don't even see any clay in here. Bottom left of the map was said to have clay. Okay. This is where I get myself stuck in the terrain. <laughs> Let's maybe not do that. <laughs> Stamina, we don't need stamina. Bottom right, I think where you thought it looked like water. Well, that's that's where I am right now. I'm in the bottom right. See, oh, oh no, actually, I'm in the... No, oh, no, I'm not. I'm way up here in the uh, upper right. All right. So the bottom right down there, there were spiders. That's um, part of the reason why I didn't hang around down there too long. Yeah, I'm at the top. I think there's something under the water over there. I don't know if it's just like a juice box again or what, but... Spiders are hogging all the clay. I mean, it's probably like in part a progression kind of thing. Like you can't go... You can't go doing certain things until you do other things. Because you can't really... You can't handle the spiders right away. 
No, oh, I thought I could get up there. I prefer not to swim the whole way. It's really slow. A slow swimmer. There we go. So, under the water down here somewhere, there was, uh... I thought I saw something in the water. Oh, it's a frisbee! <laughs> Should be buoyant that small. You would think so, yeah. Like, you might almost... You would think at this size, you might almost have trouble breaking the surface. Because the, uh... The hydrogen bonds would be holding on too tight. That's funny. All right. Ooh, flowers. Oh, flower petals. Can I take those? Oh, I can. I don't know what they're good for, but we have flower petals now. We'll have to study those and see what we can get from them. Nectar. Discovered nectar. Sweet and edible crafting resource. Restores a small amount of hunger. Alright. Good to know. So glad you're live streaming this. I've been interested in this game, but most YouTuber creators edit it. Yeah, I mean, not, not that many people were streaming it that I saw. I mean, I, I saw, like, a couple of the channels that I know of that were playing it. They definitely had all the, uh, just edited video content. Another flower petal. Do they stack even though they're different colors? Yeah, I guess they do. Is this all nectar here? No, it is. And nectar everywhere. It's all over the place. That's spider web right there. Oh, there's science up here. You blinded me with science. Boom, nailed it. That's a spider web right there, but I don't see the offending spider anywhere. At least it sure looks like spider web. Can I take it? No! I need spider web for my bow, I think. What if I smash it? That's ah, not harvestable. Drat! Almost certainly abandoned long ago, so go right ahead. <laughs> <He's just waiting. laughs> it must be just like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a test thing they put in. Or an accidental click when they were designing the environment. But I can't collect that spider web, unfortunately. That sucks. I think I have a problem. I'm on the... By going all the way around the pond, I'm now on the... Uh, the spider side of things. Yeah, I need the spider web for the dew collector. Um, and I've seen spider web around, but you know, the, naturally it had spider web or spiders near it, and um, they're not very friendly. Surprisingly enough. Definitely going into territory I haven't been in. I don't want to lose everything I have now. That would suck. Am I heading to the house? Uh, no, we walked over to the house before. Let's kind of explore over there. No, oh, spider, spider, spider. God, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Is it fighting something? Oh my god, it's it, a spider fighting stink bugs. It's nice to know they don't only attack me. <laughs> the other Polani. Just jump in the water if a spider comes a lot. That's what I'll try to do, because I, I definitely don't want to... 
I can't outrun them, so... Maybe I can outswim them. at all. It'd be one thing if I could outrun them, but I definitely can't, and that's, uh, that's so not cool. <gasps> God, don't see me. Don't see me. It's on its web. Maybe it'll leave me alone. <laughs> Up near the oak, there's a small log fence. Uh, the webs and the gaps can be harvested. Okay. Well, see, it's all these guys here. Here's the log fence. Um, I'm on the spider side of the log fence, though, which is not um, not really where I want to be, I want to say. Just don't kill me. Just don't kill me. Can I hide in the pop can? <laughs> Yo, I'm in a can, and it's pretty grand. I, uh, I don't know something. Like <laughs> uh, shake it, shake it up, and it'll explode ya. I wonder if this is drinkable. I don't want to understate this, but this is bad. Okay, uh, it wasn't really drinkable. <laughs> I thought it might actually be pop in there. Or soda, whatever. Apparently it's not. Have I tried fighting the spiders? Yeah, I've, I've hit them with a spear. Um, they too hit me though, because I have no armor on right now. It didn't end well, as you can imagine. Let's find a gap I can walk through. Okay, so it'll be back by the oak, right? For that gap. We went all the way around the pond. Okay, let's see if we can find a way through here without getting eaten by... ...unfriendly wolf spider or whatever. So there's both orb weavers and the wolf spider, because the wolf spider is the one that tried to get me in the tree. Oh, there's a research station near here. There it is. Hello, research station. Ooh. Ominent log. Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, log 87.12.19. It's past midnight now, but the covalent space reducer prototype is complete. Otherwise known as the shrinking machine, I've dubbed it the spacer. I should get some rest, but the kids are already asleep. Trudy's given up and gone to bed, and I'm eager to find out if all these months of work were worth it. Everything should be sound, but you never know until you flip the switch. Well, here goes nothing. Explosions, terrible, disastrous results. <laughs> okay, so we were shrunken by accident. Spider, 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 spider. Can I crouch in this game? Supplemental log, complete failure. Oh, why do I even try? I'll clean this mess up in the morning. All right, I'm gonna log two. Oh, well, we're gonna move the grass when it walks through. So you can even tell where it is. That's cool. I'm going this way. <laughs> the opposite side of the spider. All right, that was cool. I mean, we got the acorns we need. Uh, we found flower petals, which I hadn't come across before. So that was useful. Oh, there's science on that thing. Um, let's see. Boom, 100. Alright, which way was it back to our base now? 
You said there was a log fence by the tree that had spider webs we could harvest. That might be over there by the roses, maybe. The bow is useless so bad. Is oh, is it really? I haven't tried it yet. I was trying to see if I could make one, but... I might even have most of the stuff I need for that, oh, actually. Uh, tools, spring bow... Yeah, I have pretty much all the stuff that I need to make the bow. Does it is it that it doesn't do a lot of damage, or is it just hard to hit your target with it? Okay, let's uh, let's drift on back towards our sleeping space. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> what happened to my parachute thing? Apparently, I didn't equip it. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to float all the way back. Uh, it, it didn't work. Is that science by the le leaf on the left? Uh, I might have missed it. I see flowers and stuff. I don't know that I see any science out here. Let me try floating again. This time I'll actually switch to the item. <laughs> okay. Uh, eight. There we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> Not much damage at all, actually. You need a, uh, You also need a thistle plant to harvest and make arrows. Yeah, I found a th the uh, the thistle stuff to make the arrows. Uh, what, I, what I just haven't done is actually make the bow and stuff yet. Whee! Where's the ant hill down there? It's good for descending, but it I, it doesn't give as much forward carry as I hope I was hoping it would. All right, shadows, what you got now? Eat it, shadows. All that hunting, and I didn't find any clay. Found other cool stuff, I guess. Here's, oh, here's our flying mushroom base. <laughs> it's like an armored mushroom now. That's so cool. It's like building an Ark Survival of Old. Okay, I'm going to go where the bed is, though, uh, which is right over here. We'll sleep to pass the night, and then we can pick up in the morning here. How to get your prescription? Any spiders killed the past hour? Oh, I had to get your prescription. Um, uh, in the no, I, I've died what two or three times to spiders now, I think. Something like that. Oh, sleeping between. Oh, jeez, I gotta wait like a, a tiny amount of time. Oh, what do you drop? Spoiled meat. Apparently, the gnats like spoiled meat. I guess that makes sense. Being a gnat and all. Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> Run! What the heck are you? It's like a centipede or something. That's disgusting! If I had enough spears to throw, I'd consider throwing at you. Don't you come up here. He's out of reach. Yeah. What the heck kind of throw was that? <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to make another spear. Let's see. Pebble spear craft. You big fat jerk. This is where the bow would be really, really handy. <gasps> oh god! It's a larva. Ah! Oh! At least my bed's right there. Sadly, so is the larva. <laughs> Looks like an ant lion. Respawn. I gotta, I gotta figure out that combat. Cause oh look, there's my body. 
It's just sinking through the ground. You can block attacks when you have a weapon. Time it right to perform a perfect block. Well, I, I was blocking, but it didn't seem to work. Let's just sleep. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. Oh, good. The bug larva is leaving. Give me my stuff back. Stupid jerk. Uh, take all. It's still fighting me here somewhere. There he is. Ah! Oh! Ah! God, I almost had it! <laughs> Stupid bug! Uh, so are there nocturnal critters to- are, are nocturnal critters to worry about? Yeah. Um, so apparently that would be one of them. Uh, he's now hanging out on my body. Um, because, I mean, why not? Don't pay attention to me. I'm not here. I want my stuff back. Big fat jerk. I wonder if he gets his full life back after he kills me. No, oh, I'm gonna find out. Oh, God! The answer is yes, he does. Yes, he does. Much to my chagrin. Give me this back. Oh, you big jerk. Oh, stuck him in the face. I need my spear back, though. <laughs> we dropped it. Okay, good. Give me this back. Where are you? Another one in the face. Come back here, you. Now you're on the run. That's right. Eat it. Payback. <laughs> I popped his head off. I got a larva blade. Ooh. Both gross and neat. Where's the larva blade? Oh, wait, the larva blade is maybe something I could make. Oh, jeez, stupid gnat. Come here, you. Rotten gnats. Okay, so a sharp, dangly appendage taken from the corpse of a disgusting larva. Mm, mm, mm. That's, that's delectable. Spiky sprig. Oh, a lure arrow. Arrow designed to attract insects. That's interesting. I thought it said I got like some sort of like a larva blade. Hey Crystal, how's it going? Uh do I have bandages left? Oh my god. Drop. 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 Uh this will be in snacks. There we go. Okay, we can heal at least. Perfect. Not a ladybug larva. Looked it up on Google. Ladybug larva or black and red. And maybe it's like a beetle larva or something. Maybe. You could try and uh, you could try jump and attack that kind of bug that worked for you. Oh yeah. Oh look, they're coming to take the spoiled meat. That's right, little buddy. That's all for you. Are you my friend now? Can I ride you? <laughs> I can land on you, but I, I can't stay on. All right. Well, I can't ride my little friend, but he seems to be well fed at least. Enjoy that spoiled, delicious meat. Yeah, you share with your friends. Workbench tools? Is that where it is? Uh, workbench gear. Workbench tools. There it is. Larva blade. A swift blade crafted from serrated larva pincers that poisons on hit. Look at the speed on it. Speed, stun, damage. That's pretty cool. Larva spike, grub hide, acid glands. Get out of here. Rotten jerk. Oh, you too. Little 
jab in midair. Okay. Um, over here, I'm gonna go. Let's go research that larva stuff I got. We'll hit this research station over here. You attack an ant, do they all come running? I honestly don't know. I haven't attacked one yet, and I'm a little afraid to try. <laughs> I don't really want them all swarming over me. They seem to be mostly mostly friendly ish. Analysis complete. I can make a larva head mount. Oh my gosh, I could put it as like a thing on a wall. It's like a decoration piece. Oh, get out of here! God, he hates you! That's right, you deserved it. <laughs> Dragonfly larva live in the water. One nap, I should equal death. Oh, zero blood left. Yeah. Sweet. All right, well, uh, we're running up on uh, midnight my time. I'm going to have to crash for the night. I get work in the morning. All that fun stuff to do. Uh, this, again, has been grounded. It's available on PC through Steam. You can also buy it through the Microsoft Store. It's also uh, on the Xbox and in the Xbox Game Pass, uh, which is actually how I'm playing it. It is an, an Xbox Play Anywhere title, so I am playing it on my PC right now using mouse and keyboard, uh, even though I got it through the Xbox Game Pass, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, my inventory is pretty full. I'm going to have to build some more storage and stuff. I will try and uh, work on building a base next time. I will probably be playing this again tomorrow night because I'm having fun with it. Uh, that'll be around 9 p.m. Eastern time if you want to come back and hang out again. Uh, if you don't currently subscribe to the channel, feel free to click on the subscribe button. Welcome to our new channel members tonight. Uh, thanks for clicking that join button. It is very much appreciated. And for the super chats this evening, I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.